Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Um, we're watching a small video here from one of the crew members made uh, while passing Copenhagen Airport. Uh, we'll be sailing and flying here soon, uh, just stay tuned for that. I want to give a small note before starting off with the video, and that's that I'm given access to the beta version of the real-time global AI ship and traffic add-on, which will be released in the future. Um, I'm testing it for uh, from a maritime perspective to give any uh, feedback if there is any uh, to the developers and to share it with the community what's coming together here as a, as a great add-on. So stay tuned for that and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, we are running live uh, traffic here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we have airplanes landing here at Kastrup Airport, as you can see. Uh, they're inbound and outbound all the time. We have a GoPro camera running on the bridge and I'm on board this vessel. Um, we are approaching the uh, Drochten channel or we are already inside the Drochten channel. Um, it's called here. Uh, so I try to maintain uh, a flight nearby the vessel. I decided to go with the Cessna instead of a drone to keep uh, yeah, as much flight simulator involved as well <laughs> at the same time. As checking out the vessels here, the roto, uh, the roto vessel is slightly off uh, from our vessel, but doesn't matter. Um, I'm not upstairs, I'm uh, flying obviously, so I don't know about these two vessels, but they should be there. Um, and I hope we have some incoming aircraft as well, airplanes here as well, landing at um, Kastrup Airport. So we'll drop some flaps here to st try to stay near the vessel. Most likely we'll circle around a little bit here. And we'll add some wind. We're not running live weather because it was 50 meters per second wind uh, when I left. Um, so we'll make it like something like this. And I have to watch my speed and altitude here. So <coughs> I'm gonna increase here a little bit. We'll watch out. Uh, we'll take a look outside uh, to get an overview. So be aware of the sound the noise. So yeah, this is our vessel. Um, we're doing. We are sailing very slow in this channel because we have uh, about two meters under keel clearance, more or less, depending on the water level. Um, so yeah, here we have the other ships uh, showing up. It's a twin engine, twin crew, so that this propeller wash makes sense here. Even I just noticed now, we're not loaded with trailers here, but with containers. But never mind. The vessel is, is really close to what it is in real life. It's a slightly different vessel, but never mind. So we have this one, should be on camera, visible now. And we have a few other ships here. It's more difficult flying and looking outside than I expected even. Uh, we'll see if we can f have some airplanes coming in. Yep, there is one coming in here at the moment. Uh, this is our own... Is it? Yep, this is our own uh, icon, let's say our own plane. So yeah, we have one inbound. I hope it will be shown on the GoPro camera as well. We'll see how that will work out. But they're coming in and out here all the time. It's a very busy airport. It is an Orbix add-on airport, so if we have some stuttering going on, then that's the reason. It's a busy area here. So I'll do less talking, and I'll show you around while we're flying here. Enjoy the video. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. For some reason... I had some weird controls there, but now we're looking okay again. It's really difficult looking for ships and inbound, outbound planes at the same time. And maintaining a somewhat normal flight. Try to drop some flaps here again. I'm hoping... Well, you get the picture of the ships going on. I'm just hoping we have some airplanes here moving as well, but... For the moment it's quiet. We're still far away from the airport, so... With the ship, let's say. So I'm really hoping we can catch an uh, inbound airplane at the same time. Uh, and the vessel will be there. Oppa, there's one. Okay, that one should be on the camera for sure. That one should be on camera for sure. Yeah, okay, so they're landing on this runway. Uh, that will be, that's the reason because it will have less crosswind uh, compared to the other one. The wind is more or less like this direction. So it makes sense that they're... Okay, I don't know where that one is going, but... Alright, never mind. Normally they're landing on the runway which is coming from here, let's say. This direction. I'll fly inside. I, I'm never flying watching from the outside, so that might be a reason there why we're struggling a little bit. Keeping a normal flight, let's say. Now we'll go down to full flaps, see if we can stay as close as possible for time being. I don't know how the models react, let's say, if it would be possible to land on these trailers for example. It's not realistic at all, but just to keep a live view, let's say. We're not gonna try it. It will. Uh, it won't be realistic. Uh, let's see if we have some more planes movements. There, yeah, there's one inbound, outbound. Looks like that. Yeah, but those won't be on camera, so never mind those. Shipping-wise, it is quiet here. It's pity because it can be really busy and it can be quiet here. We got what this one, but we will not overtake it. And then we have this one. This one we can see. So. Yeah, flying here is not legal at all, of course, as well. But it's for demonstration purposes. Okay, we'll make a turn and then approach the vessel again from stern. Pity that it's so quiet in the Drochten channel at the moment. Of course, we will not see the Cessna on the camera. <laughs> that would be quite something. Uh. This one we just passed, eh? right? Yeah, that one we just passed, yeah. Alright. It is daytime, by the way, so yeah, it's uh, about 5 o'clock almost, 10 to 5, 10 minutes before 5, so local time. All right, let's start turning here again. I 
I must say, uh, FPS wise, it looks good. I'm not running an FPS counter now at the moment, but it looks okay actually. This is not too bad. Even with this Orbex add on airport here, which is like, oh, there is some plane here, but. Which is like a high, high detail airport. Okay, let's take a look outside again. We have anything inbound or not? No, at the moment not. Looks like not. Let's try a bridge flyby here. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look on the other vessel here in the meantime. Okay, we got one inbound here, but uh, that will be not visible on camera for sure. So yeah, it looks like they're all inbound at the moment from this direction. Like I said, normally they're coming from here, but it's, it's looking quiet now. So yeah, this direction. I, I think this one plane might be on the camera, so yeah. We'll see later when I make the camera, the, the GoPro overlay. There's a passenger ship here as well. And a DFDS ferry over there. And this might be one from our company as well, if it's an orange one. Yeah, it's a slow passage, it's a long, long way to go uh, for the vessels, normally it takes about one hour, the, the whole, uh, the complete channel, let's say the Drochten channel, so I will not be recording for one hour. Um, but I think we got some pretty good video already by now. What we have here? Navalis. They are normally in Kotka located in Finland also, these vessels. And here we have general cargo ship. Might become interesting here in, in a few, uh, few minutes for our vessel as well. Um, but yeah, it will still take time. I believe this DFDS ferry might be coming this way as well, but not sure. Yeah, like I said, normally they're approaching at this runway, but uh, because of the wind, it might be that they're now... Oh, well, there's another one inbound, but it will be not on camera for sure. If I look out from my window, then it should be visible, is there something? No. Is there anything? Mm, hard to see. Oh, that's my... Checking here how the real air, air yeah, live traffic is, let's say, compared.
Yeah, so I guess, I think we'll keep recording until we pass this ship. Um, the ship should be doing about 7, 8 knots here, maybe 10 maximum. But this in inbound one will go faster, because it will be not so deep drafted. So it can, uh, can go a little bit faster. I think I will keep recording until we meet this, uh, this other general cargo vessel, the small one. And after that I think I will stop the recording, otherwise it will be a very long video. I think we already covered quite some good parts. Looks like the DFTS is indeed... No, it's not coming this way yet. There are like buoys also, oh, there are like buoys also here all over the place. It's a very narrow channel actually. Yeah, when we are passing this lighthouse here, we will spa start speeding up again. Uh, but there is no traffic coming this direction. So I guess we'll wait until we pass this one. And after that, yeah, that's one more coming, but we can keep going on, of course, forever. So we'll see. I can feel it here also when we start increasing again. But if I look outside, outside here, let's say. If I make it active pause, the ship should be continuing. Let's take a look outside here where we're at, more or less. We are now we're halfway the airport now. Yep. We're halfway the airport now somewhere. In real life. So yeah, I'll see what I will do with the video uh, footage. How I will align it together with the simulation, let's say here, the simulator. Oh, that's my mobile hotspot, yeah. There's a lot of air traffic movements going on here. Like I said earlier, it's a very busy airport. <coughs> so I'll try to make a quick landing here. <coughs> go off the runway and then we'll go to... Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not um, using um, real liveries, let's say, at the moment also. I wanted to try to keep it as smooth as possible. Uh, Maybe in after uh, afterwards was actually maybe possible to use, but So we'll park just here a little bit off the runway, let's say. Just over here will do. There we go. And we'll continue on with this one. 
while we're passing these two ships here. I will speed up the drone camera here. Alright, let's go like that. Here we go. Because I have an idea of what I want to show you. I will synchronize the video together with this image here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to stay inside there, but you get the idea. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there should be some buoy over here, so I expect them to... Yeah, they will go more or less this direction. Yeah, they will keep going this direction. But here it should be, like, become a little bit wider again. I'll try my best to synchronize this video as good as possible. Uh, I have to adjust the drone speed perhaps a little bit. Oh, not the map. Drone speeds. I think that one will go out of the picture now soon. Yeah, that one should be out now. So yeah, it's a uh, pity that it's so quiet over here. Uh, there is like... Yeah, m sometimes there are like one after the other one just passing here. And uh, sometimes it's like this, you have like three, four vessels and that's it. So it's an easy duty for the one who is uh, navigational watch at the moment. Um, yeah, so soon it will start speeding up. Uh, I think we'll stop the video here soon because um, we have the best parts finished, let's say more or less. There's later on, there's another part over there with ferries. Uh, but it takes another hour before the ship is there. So uh, we'll stop the video from here. I hope you liked this uh, video idea from uh, real life recording while sailing, while flying. It was more difficult than I actually thought it would be. <laughs> but I think after uh, all together we should have a, have a nice video coming up here from this. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you like more of this content make sure to subscribe because uh, I will try to upload more like this. I will do my best to see if it's possible to find some interesting areas. And then I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.